Hey there, how's it going? My name is Robert Renman and today I'm going to show you a pedal that I've been using for a while. It's a compressor pedal and it's called the Accountant. It's made by Fairfield Circuitry. And uh, let me quickly just go over the functions of the pedal. It's a tiny little thing uh, so it's easy to fit on a pedal board. So it comes with a really great manual actually and I'm going to read from it to make sure I don't say the wrong thing. But as you can see, we have two switches here and a knob. The first uh, switch here is called a pad. And um, the way this works is the pad is sim simply attenuating your signal before the compression. And the uh, options are 0, 1, 2, it's just different levels of it. And then we have ratio, which determines how strongly loud parts are compressed. So in combination with those two, you can get a squishy, heavy compression or a light compression. You can even make, get a limiter uh, functionality out of it. And the volume knob, what it does is controls the level at the output. It doesn't affect the compression at all because it's post effect. So, the gear I'm using, American Standard Strat, and I'm playing a Sir Badger 18 tube amp. It's a head, so I'm running it into a Trainer 212 cabinet that has Celestian green back speakers in it. So let me give you a little bit of a demo of it then. My clean sound, the amp is set fairly clean. <laughs> duration pad at zero. Now I may need to adjust the volume to control the output from the pedal. So I'm matching what the amp does by itself. So now it's a light compression. And then let's bring up the, um, let's do the opposite. Make, let's make really heavy compression. So I put the pad at two and ratio at two. Now it's gonna be louder as well. So, and the way this works of course is when the pedal is, it, it output from the pedal is loud going into the amp, my amp is gonna overdrive more because it gets a hot signal. So in a way it's similar to a, a booster pedal only the compressor has a little bit more compression on the signal, obviously, but it does, it can increase the, 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 the level of the signal going into the amp, thereby the tube amp uh, gets a little more distorted and, and gainy. So I can turn down the volume a little bit when I have this uh, heavy compression going on. So now when I'm playing, you should hear. Really have a compression. So as you can hear, it's capable of doing that if you want that type of thing. Maybe country picking stuff, you might want extra heavy compression sometimes. But that's not usually how I use it. I just 
set it to a lighter compression. Maybe the pad is at one. <laughs> And then, of course, as I mentioned, the volume level, that's a, a balance between, um, you know, how you like your amp to sound. Like, I, I want my tube amp to have a little bit of a hotter signal going in, but not too much, because if it's too much, it becomes... The amp starts to fart out, and it sounds like, you know, doesn't sound normal. But a little bit of a hot signal going in is, is great, I think. And when it's a little bit compressed, that's uh, where, to me, the magic happens. Because if you have a, a tube amp, a great tube amp, and you crank it loud, it's going to start to compress by itself. It's the nature of the amp. And it sounds best that way. But of course, it's getting really loud then. So what this kind of tool can let uh, let you do is to get a more of a compressed amp tone in a good way at lower levels so you don't have to blast your ears out and that's what I really like about this pedal I'm not playing very loud but I'm getting that dynamic in the sound Without the pedal, it's not the same thing. It doesn't have the dynamics in it. So, a lighter compression and bring up the volume out of the pedal at the correct level for your amp and its settings. I think it produces a beautiful tone and it's a blast to play with and in fact what to be honest I have never really liked compressor pedals because I I used those uh, boss compressors back in the 80s probably and I hated them because they to me squished the signals so much that it became I don't know I just didn't like it, it didn't appeal to me but this pedal I found that I can set it a light comp compression and I boost the volume a little bit and I'm getting a really nice tone. And for funky stuff of course too. have the same dynamics out of the amp without the pedal so I really like this thing let's set it to ratio at one pad at one and then volume down a little bit Thank you. 
light compression boost a bit. Ratio at one. I think I've uh, showed you some of the things it can do with this type of setup. So I uh, hope you uh, like what you hear. I think it's a really cool pedal and it has basically changed the way I approach playing my tube amps. Anytime I have a cleaner or a gritty kind of tone that doesn't use a lot of gain, this pedal is pretty much always on because I find it really you know, brings out the best out of my gear and my fingers too because it's so much fun to play with this type of tone happening so i think it can really liven up um, a dull sound sounding tube amp let's also check it out with the hagstrom viking <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time.